he's expected to make the proper reads, put the ball where he's supposed to put it, and he's very, very good at that. And then the question is, what kind of environment is it going to be? Is Bill Belichick going to coach up a team where everyone's where they're supposed to be? Yeah, I think he has a pretty good track record of that. Even last year during COVID and with Cam, as I said, he had COVID and the facility shut down and no preseason. They won seven games, two plays away from winning nine games. So I think he's going to be on a good team. I think he's going to be in a system that is good for him. And I think he's going to have immediate success. I don't understand how those words could come out of your mouth after you just finished saying what you said a few minutes ago about the San Francisco 49ers. Trey Lance is my pick in terms of the quarterback that I anticipate will have immediate success. I don't expect Jimmy G to last long. I expect Trey Lance to be in there. They talk about his decision-making, him going through his progressions, the fact that he's a mistake-free kind of guy. Obviously, he's incredibly athletic, and clearly he's going to be more durable. I think that's easy to see with the size that he has on him compared to Jimmy G. When you combine that with what the San Francisco 49ers have available to them, an elite play caller in the game in Kyle Shanahan, who happens to be his head coach. You still got Debo Samuels there. You still got Monster coming out of the backfield. George Kittle will be back healthy, we hope. Uh, obviously, he's healthy now. I'm just saying we hope that he doesn't get injured next season. And then you look at the defense, which, by the way, was compromised due to injuries to Bolser, Bruckner going from San Francisco to Indianapolis and others. And now you're looking at this defense, and they're expected to be healthier. They're expected to be a bit younger. They're expected to be just as, if not more, athletic with Bosa coming back. You take all of those things into consideration. This is a San Francisco 49ers team that a lot of people, including yourself, we're expecting to compete for a Super Bowl championship. Even though we look at Bill Belichick and Josh McDaniels and the New England Patriots, and I think that Mac Jones is the perfect quarterback for them to have drafted, the bottom line is when you're coming off a 7-9 and nine season, you just never know what life is going to be like without Tom Brady, which they had to endure last season. In the case of the San Francisco 49ers, Jimmy G didn't do that damn much for them to get to the Super Bowl a couple of years ago anyway. So it ain't going to be much for Trey Lance, for example, um, in a perfect world to eclipse 208 yards total in passing over two games in the NFC playoffs. I think that the San Francisco 49ers are more equipped for immediate success uh, based on what, what success that they had a couple of years ago before the injuries ravaged them last year. And I think they'll be back, and I think Trey Lance is in a better position to, to succeed more immediately than Mac Jones. Well, just listen to the coach. Shanahan said, I don't think that, um, that uh, Trey Lance is going to give us a better chance to win, or anyone on the roster is going to give us a better chance to win than Jimmy G right now, unless you think he's, that's just a smoke Yeah, but I was on the record and, saying I think Shanahan's lying. No, I don't think he is. How about Jimmy G? I don't, I don't think he I is. Think and by lying. the way, people like <laughs> me who think that they're Super Bowl contenders, it's right. because they have Jimmy G. The reason I think... The San Francisco 49ers are so set up right now, like right now, is because they were in the Super Bowl one pass away from winning it with Jimmy G. The issue is Jimmy G's injury prone and his upside is limited. It's true. Did the defense, was that really more about the defense? Yeah, that's true. But Jimmy G had to make a lot of decisions along the way as the quarterback. You know, again, if you look at someone like Fitzpatrick, Stephen A., and you, look, and you say, well, you know, like Jimmy G, he's not the reason they got there. And you could point to a guy like Fitzpatrick. What's his record on teams, and what's his, those teams' records without him in the same time? Is it, does it reverse from one win every three or four games to three to four wins every one loss, right? Like, because that's what Jimmy G does. He's not just a tick above replacement. So my point is, I wouldn't pick the 49ers to go to the Super Bowl with a rookie quarterback. I don't care who the rookie is. Maybe Dan Marino. Maybe Dan Marino's the only guy. You know how you but sound there, to me, Max? There haven't you know been any say, Dan Marino you know, since you know then, really, as rookies. Right now. You know how you sound right now? It sounds like you've upgraded the classification of a Jag, just another guy. It's hmm. like you, you're you acknowledging that Jimmy G's upside is limited. He's not a mm -hmm. scrub. He yeah. can play. We all can see that. We know he's not the primary reason the San Francisco 49ers are going to really get it done for you. But the bottom line is you're saying it's almost like you're saying he's not just another guy, but he is because the upside is limited. No. And what, that's how it sounds. I'm saying that you're taking – I'm saying that your classification of a Jag, just another guy, your classification of it seems to be a bit embellished when it comes to Jimmy G. Well, I got to put it this way. You could say that quarterbacks who don't wow you are Jags plus. 
If you, you know, like, okay. there's something like right, that. So and, he's a jack and, and by plus. the way, I think that hits on something because that's probably the reason the Niners are moving on as much as his fragility, right? The fact that, he, that he's not always available because of injury. Probably you're right. Like, we're looking for a little more than what Jimmy G has. A but lot to, to more. Me, and to me, that's what our argument's about. You can win a Super Bowl with Jimmy G, I believe, because I saw it almost happen. You can't win a Super Bowl with a rookie. When now, was see, the last time that view, even I, almost I, happened? Well, well, I view it differently. I view it differently than you, Max. You say you can almost win a Super Bowl or whatever. Like, all right, Jimmy G got there. I, I think that Jimmy G, when I see Jimmy G, I think of a guy that had his moment. That was his opportunity. And he missed it. And chances of him getting One back, getting it back are slim to none. That's how I view it. You view that he got there, so guess what? He can get back there. I One view last it as thing, Stephen he A. missed the opportunity. Even for Trey Lance, you know what you don't want to do? You don't want to throw an inexperienced guy without a lot of starts, even at the college level. I right? agree with that. You don't want to throw him into a situation where everyone's eyes are on him, and as soon as he starts to falter, now there may be a quarterback controversy. Now you got to bench him and get off to that kind of start. Why not let him hold the clipboard, gain experience, they let an experienced Super I'm not Bowl they quarterback, won't. at least I'm not who saying got they there. Won't. But what you're missing, Max, is if Jimmy G is there, like if you're if you're Kyle Shanahan, just from a human element, Molly, mm -hmm. Max, if you Kyle Shanahan, right, who 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 do you want to pay more attention to? Who do you want to be in the film room? Of course with? he wants. Who do you want to invite you over? Who do, you, who do you want to invite over to your home? Else. Like Al Pacino had uh, uh, Jamie Foxx in any right. given Sunday. I mean, who's the guy you want to be talking to? Willie like Beeman. Jimmy G will be there, but he's almost a damn afterthought for crying out loud. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.